Hi, I'm here today with Dr. Andrew Mueller, an oral surgeon from the Marquis Dental Implant Center. Our topic today is to talk about full arch dental implants. Something that people don't like to talk about, but it happens, when dental implants fail. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it happens. What kind of things cause a dental implant to fail? Yeah, so um, at the end of the day, the implant, the bone that surrounds the implant has to be able to support the load that's distributed to it. So every time we bite, that force is then distributed down to the implant that goes out to the bone. And we're gonna bite and go through roughly a, mil a million chewing cycles a year. And so the bone has to be able to withstand that repetitive, constant loading. When we see dental implants fail, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the most common reason that I see is they just weren't placed in the right location. There isn't enough bone surrounding it um, to withstand that load. After it's, the surgery's been done, and now we go and we actually are gonna put a crown on top of the implant so that a crown or a tooth or a bridge of teeth is gonna be screwed or attached to this device. The design of those teeth is really, really important. And if the crown of the tooth that's attached to the implant is even just a tenth of a millimeter too tall, and so when you chew, you're hitting it first, or and maybe you're not even hitting it normally, but when your jaw goes to the side, you hit it. Um, that actually very quickly will cause an implant to fail because it's not designed to handle that type of load. Implants should have over a 99% success rate. Um, when they're done by someone that's highly trained, highly experienced, that's what we repeatedly see. Um, we see roughly one out of every 150 implants that we place develop some kind of issue that needs to be addressed. Unfortunately, the numbers that we're seeing today um, is things like 82% success rate. Um, that's a recent large study uh, when you looked at um, all the dentists that are now placing implants and their overall success rate. And so that's nearly one out of five implants that are failing. And Unfortunately, that's just due to lack of experience and uh, not proper execution of the procedure. Thanks for your time today. I'm sure that our audience will be able to learn a lot from it and make some great decisions about moving forward with, with dental implants. You're welcome.